Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. So we're talking through one of the most important features introduced in the new Android Wear update, which is 5.1.1. Uh, it's now rolling out to all of your Moto 360s, so we want to make sure you know how to use it. And I'm talking about the Wi-Fi connectivity portion of it. So Wi-Fi connectivity on your watch allows you to kind of leave your phone behind. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can detach from that Bluetooth connection, uh, leave your phone downstairs or at home or wherever, and as long as you have Wi-Fi on your watch, you can get notifications and interact with them, uh, use Google's voice actions, it's, and it, so it still syncs between them over Wi-Fi. It's a pretty big deal, and so again, we wanna make sure everyone knows how to use it. Now, we have to do a video on this because it's not really that straightforward, and Google's kind of put settings here and there, and we wanna make sure you know how to do it. So. Let's do that now. Uh, the first thing you do is uh, actually just put your watch down. So grab your phone, open the Android Wear app, and uh, open settings. Down here, you'll see something called Cloud Sync. So tap on that, and you wanna turn that on. And you turn that on because if you don't, your phone and watch won't sync together. And if you disable it, it actually disables Wi-Fi on your watches. So turn Cloud Sync on. All right, once you've done that, set your phone back down for a second. Grab watch. And so from the watch, we're gonna start walking through this process. So get into settings, which you can swipe mm -hmm. down from the top and uh, tap on settings, uh, ignore emails as we're doing this. Uh, so in settings, you wanna find Wi-Fi settings. So we'll tap on that. And then now this should start searching for available Wi-Fi networks nearby. And so there's the one I want. So you tap on the one you want, and it's actually gonna require that you punch in the password for that network on your phone, which is silly because I already have this network attached to my phone. You would think maybe they would just sync together. They don't. So I'm gonna tap open on phone, and then I get this prompt. So off screen here, we'll type in Wi-Fi password. And connect. And so we clicked connect. Now it's authenticating and obtaining IP and all that stuff. So phone back down. And yay, connected, so that worked. Uh, I wanna swipe back out just to show you something. The next time you go into Wi-Fi settings, once you've connected to a network, uh, you'll notice this thing called Wi-Fi automatic, and then it connects to uh, networks. So Wi-Fi automatic is like your on-off switch. If you wanna turn Wi-Fi off on your watch, just tap on Wi-Fi automatic, and eh, a little crash here or there. Um, let's jump back into settings. Oh, there we are, back in settings. Uh, so because I tapped that off, Wi-Fi should be off, and it is, and so. I can actually tap that and it'll turn it back on and it turns on that Wi-Fi automatic, which is kind of a confusing name, but it's basically your on off switch. All right, so let's jump back out here and go all the way back home. So this is where stuff gets fun, right? Uh, I'm actually connected right now through phone over Bluetooth, but I wanna switch it to Wi-Fi just to show you how this works. So let's say I leave my phone behind and since I can't simulate that, the least I can do is at least turn Bluetooth off. So I've turned Bluetooth off and you can see there is that prompt in Android Wear that says turn Bluetooth on. Um, and so if we go back to the watch, you'll notice the little cloud icon with the slash through it, which is the indicator that I'm no longer connected via Bluetooth. And then you'll notice it also just disappeared. So if I swipe this down, I now have a Wi-Fi connected icon in this sort of notification area. So I am now connected over Wi-Fi. So now I can do like all of the normal things I would wanna do with Android Wear. And so I'm gonna just send myself a message over Hangouts and hopefully it works. And so I'll bring phone back in. So there's message and again, I'm still not connected over Bluetooth but there is the message also on my watch. So again, over Wi-Fi, not via Bluetooth, and so you kind of stay synced. And that's, a, again, a pretty big deal. Now you can do other things too, like, you know, I can go in and, and ask it things like, uh, what's the weather like? The simple one, right, that everyone always does. Weather, like, and there it brings up weather. So again, your Google Voice actions are there. You're syncing between notifications. You can even interact with these notifications. So I can send myself a message back. What's up, dude? There we go. Kind of slow, but you can see it works and then it sends that message. So interact notifications, you get notifications, you can use Google Voice actions and search and stuff like that all over Wi-Fi. Uh, so then once you connect back to your phone, um, I can just turn Bluetooth back on and, uh, and then you'll notice that Wi-Fi icon will shortly go away. 
once I'm reconnected. There we go. So Wi-Fi icon is gone. So that's basically how the Wi-Fi works. You just have to get it set up and then it just kind of happens automatically. Uh, the final thing then is in Wi-Fi settings, if you ever want to get rid of a saved network, you just go down to save network, tap on the X next to them and say if you're sure or not, and that will disconnect any of uh, your saved Wi-Fi network. So that's pretty much it. Quick tutorial should get you up and going with Wi-Fi on your Android Wear watch. If not, let us know if you have any questions, if there's anything else you'd like us to explore. For now, we are Droid Life. Peace.